What lies beneath the San Francisco Public Library will shock you. And they did find skeletal remains. Uncover the library's layered past. So this piece is a mystery to us. Coming up next on Evening Magazine. Like all libraries, San Francisco's public library is filled with a wealth of knowledge. But it's what was once below it that separates it from others. The library itself is sitting on a site that has such a long and rich historical record. Susan Goldstein is the city archivist who works at the library. She helped put together the exhibit that reveals its layered past. We almost named the exhibit What Lies Beneath because it had that kind of horror film aspect of what's underneath the library that people don't know about. This is the exhibit, Digging Deep, underneath the San Francisco Public Library. Originally built in 1879 on Bush Street, the library has been uprooted four times. There's a series of photos above the exhibit that shows the site over four different periods in history, so people really like to look at it and compare the site. This is a book that was burned in the earthquake and fire of 1906. The devastating 1906 quake destroyed the library forcing it to relocate yet again. But it finally moved into its own building in 1917, and that's the building that the Asian Art Museum is in now. And then in 1996, we moved into the new main public library, and that's where we are now. But breaking ground to build the six-story library on Larkin Street turned into an archeological dig that turned up more than just books. The oldest things they found were from the Yerba Buena Cemetery that used to be on this site. This is a drawing of what it looked like, 1850, when it was established. And they did find skeletal remains. They also found things from the era when this was a city hall. A carved piece of stone from that building. And then here's a piece of flooring from that building. And then we also have a lot of different bottles. This one's from the Eureka Soda Works in San Francisco. This is one I love. This is a poison bottle. This is a shoe. This is what your shoe will look like in about 50 to 100 years. They found everyday household objects that people in San Francisco use. They found things like combs and pipe bowls. Um, there's even a wedding ring that was found in the archaeological dig. While most of the artifacts are recognizable, some are indescribable. This is an ivory tusk. We think it might have been used as a big tool to fold paper, but that's just a guess. We don't know. Guessing is half the fun when it comes to examining the past. It's something this exhibit allows guests to do while educating them about a library that's standing the test of time. A lot of cities lose their history, um, and I think that it's kind of fitting closure into the story that the library came back very close to where it started out. Oh, working for tips is Miss Nubla. SFPL.org, that display will be on display. Finally! All year, got every piece of that one. Look at the technique that Nubla brings to the uh. plate. 